recipe of the day. It is St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone. We have missed you. Um, we hope you guys are all watching and we are going to be making something yummy today here on recipe of the day. We are going to be making shepherd's pie twice baked potatoes. Oh my gosh, how yummy does that sound? Easy and yummy and something different and something that your kids could help you make, would be fun to make with your kids and they are absolutely fun to eat. So I am making my own twist here on shepherd's pie and we are going to put it back in the baked potato. And then of course, because in honor of St. Patrick's Day, we are gonna be making a special cocktail that might even end up being green. <laughs> So how is everyone today? Let me get you guys up in front of me here so we can chat, chat amongst ourselves here and uh, say hi. Hey Kelly, how are you? Welcome, I'm gonna get started here. I have my pan on behind me, my big pan. So I'm going to um, start the meat while we're chatting. So here I have, I cooked some bacon for the top of our twice baked potatoes. So I just left the pan with a little bit of bacon grease it, uh, in there because you know everything is better with a little bit of bacon grease right <laughs> absolutely so I'm gonna throw I'm just gonna put a pound of ground beef in and let that start doing its thing and then we are gonna make the oops make the topping whoops let me get a clean one <laughs> even though the floor is clean but I won't do that in front of you guys whoops one now use my special Gary and Lisa.com spoon <laughs> Let me get the meat started here. And what is everyone doing for St. Patrick's Day? Let's see. If you're watching this on replay, we can go to uh, hashtag replay. So we always like to see who's watching. It's always great. Um, we appreciate it. And always, you can find these on YouTube at Ventura Real Estate. And you can always subscribe to our channel there. We'd love it if you follow us. We have our real estate shows that we do and the cooking shows that we started actually one year ago today. We did our first impromptu cooking show that turned into 100 episodes during COVID. And so we are um, here doing a commemorative one year anniversary, St. Patrick's Day fun cooking show here. So um, we've got our meat going. I'm using my big pan so it'll cook extra fast while you guys are watching. I'm going to let that get browned up there because this is going to be so yummy. And while that is doing its thing, I'm going to, hey Lisa, how are you? Tracy, welcome. I have in here, let me show you what I did. While I was waiting for you guys, I baked the potatoes, and these are just russet potatoes. You can see I baked them, and then I scooped them out. See, look at that one, perfect. Scooped out, and where that potato went is into this bowl. <laughs> so in my bowl here, I have the, the insides of those four potatoes, and we are gonna doctor up our colcannon. I'm actually gonna top this with colcannon, which is uh, traditional Irish potatoes and cabbage mixed together, because I just thought that sounded yummy. So I'm gonna start here with a little bit of butter. I'm gonna put a little garlic in my meat, so put a little garlic in there. Because I'm making up my own recipe for that, the way I would like it. I'm gonna put a little bit of seasoned salt in there. This is crazy season salt. Put a little bit. And I'm going to put some pepper in here. Spice up our meat. Let that keep going. Okay, back here. Butter. Going in. I'm going to put a little bit of butter in. Because what's mashed potatoes without butter, right? Yum. Hey Sandy, how are you? Destiny, welcome you guys. We're making col cannon, which is um, traditional Irish mashed potatoes and then cooked cabbage together. So I've got my potatoes. I'm going to put again a little salt in here. This one's in front of me. A little bit of seasoned salt and I'm going to put what I just discovered. A dear friend brought Gary a beautiful dinner for his birthday last weekend and this, I mean call me late to the party, but this stuff is unbelievable. Mexican crema. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. It's like thick cream or watery sour cream, however you want to call it. It is a dairy product that I did not know about. So instead of using milk and sour cream, which is what the recipe called for, I'm making it my own. And we're just going to put a little Mexican crema in there because it's going to solve a few of our issues here with our yummy potatoes. 
I'm going to stir that together. Oh my goodness. Yummy! Mexican crema. What have you used Mexican crema in? Because I'm definitely looking for new ideas since I have discovered this wonderful, amazing dairy product. <laughs> we need to find out more ways to use it. Oh my goodness. Okay, and this just needs more. Because it has to be, I want this to be super rich and creamy. Oh my gosh, yum! Okay, this looks delicious. So basically I'm making mashed potatoes here. So potatoes, butter, crema. Oh my gosh, a little salt. I'll put a little pepper. And I'm gonna doctor these up. They're gonna be so yummy. Oh my gosh. Yum! How's our meat doing? Okay, let's stir in our oh yeah. Okay, our meat is almost not pink. Well, let me show you. Let's pick this up. My big mama is very heavy. Yeah, quick that cooks in my big big pan. So we're almost got this all brown. Okay. So to that, I'm gonna add some vegetables here. And I'm gonna add um, I don't know, like a cup or so of just mixed vegetables. So this is just an organic vegetable mix. It's um, carrots, corn, green beans, and green peas. You can use whatever you've got. You could use fresh, of course, if you, if you wanted to. But I'm trying to make this quick and easy for you guys. So I'm going to put some Worcestershire, Worcestershire char in here, two tablespoons. So get it going on here. So there's some Worcestershire going in there. Yeah. What are you all doing? Hey Sandy, what are you doing to celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Since you're ahead of the curve from us. It is definitely five o'clock there. <laughs> uh, I'm also gonna add here to my, um, my filling a little bit of tomato paste. And because I don't wanna use a whole jar, I'm only gonna use about a tablespoon. This is the secret, tomato paste in a tube. Easy, squirt a little bit in and you're good. So I'm going to put a little tomato paste in there. So I've got garlic, tomato paste, salt, pepper, our meat, and our veg. I'm going to stir that together. Oh my gosh. Yum! It smells so good already. Because the Worcestershire Shire smells delicious. Another thing you won't believe that I made for the first time this week too was Chex Mix. And now I know what the yummy thing about Chex Mix is the Worcestershire shower, the Worcestershire sauce. Okay, back to our um, mashed potatoes here. Make sure I got, I got everything going in. I put a little salt in here. I'm also going to put um, some Irish cheddar cheese because yum, because why not? Because it's St. Patrick's Day. So calories don't count on holidays, right? So we're gonna put some of that in there. I've got some fresh thyme, my pretty fresh thyme that I didn't grow myself. I'm going to put some fresh thyme in our meat and let that get mixed in. So I just pulled it off the leaves and then chopped it a little bit and in it goes. And then, um, grab another spoon here. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Yummy. It smells delish. I'm going to put a little bit of water in that. Uh, just to, I, want, I don't want to leave any little bits on the bottom of the pan. If I had a bottle of red wine in, fr in front of me, I could use that too to deglaze the pan. Um, okay, so in my potatoes, I've got the cheese and our crema, salt and pepper. I'm going to mix that in. Oh my gosh, these are going to be so yummy. Have any of you made Paul Cannon before? Anyone? Oh my gosh. So to this, because I'm going to add the cooked cabbage to my mashed potatoes I just made here. So, ta-da! I have a, big, a bigger bowl here. How are my Instagrammers? How's it going, my Instagrammers? Okay, there we go. Now to that, while I was waiting for you guys, I browned up some cabbage real quick. Just give it a little quick. Um, cook it maybe five, five or maybe eight minutes and sauteed it in the bacon grease. 
because I had bacon grease that I made for our, our, that's going in here too. So I thought, let's use the bacon grease and just cooked up the cabbage. So I just threw that in. Because I mean, come on, let's be honest. What's not great with a little bacon grease? <laughs> right? Yum! So I'm mixing the cabbage here in with my mashed potatoes and the Irish cheddar cheese, butter, Mexican crema, I just discovered, oh my gosh, yum. And I think it's actually gonna need a little bit of milk because these are russet potatoes. I usually use Yukon Golds, but I want them to be really soft on top of my potatoes. So Magic Hands, can you grab me a little bit of milk please? We'll put a splash in here. Oh my gosh, it's not, let me taste these. Here, I'll actually use, use, use a spoon and see how they taste. Mm. So yummy. I'm gonna put a splash of milk in just to um, soften them up. The rest of the potatoes, they absorb a lot. So I'm just gonna smooth this out a little. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is delicious because I cooked the cabbage just in a little bit of bacon grease and a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And then here we go, that looks delish. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my meat here, which smells great too. Make sure I got everything in there that I wanted to. Everything that's in front of me went in there, yes? I think so, maybe a little pepper. <laughs> to stuff one of these for you guys. So into our yummy potatoes here that I have all scooped out, our twice baked shepherd's pie. I'm gonna take a scoop. I think I'm gonna to do this over here so that you guys can see. I'm actually trying to do this because this looks so yummy. So here we go. This is what our filling looks like. It's got our veg and our ground beef ready to go. So I'm gonna take a healthy scoop here and stuff our potato. Oh my gosh, yeah. I think I'll just do one while you guys are watching. Get it nice and full. Okay, look at that. Oh my gosh, how yummy does that look? Delish. So to that, I'm going to take our cannon that we just made here, our potatoes and cabbage. And I'm going to grease it. Now you, if you were just using potatoes, you could do this in a piping bag and make it all fancy and you could pipe the potatoes on top of here with a star tip and make them all beautiful. But because I decided to use the cabbage in the potatoes, they won't fit through the piping tip. <laughs> so I'm going to Pile that on there. Oh my goodness, yummy! How yummy that looks. I'll have to hold that up to the camera so you guys can see. And then I am going to put a little bit of cheese on top. Oh, and the bacon. Put the bacon in. I've got bacon to go on top here. Oh my goodness. Because seriously, what's not good with bacon? With bacon? So I thought, why not? have a little bacon garnish on here. Okay, so there we go. We have our shepherd's pie, twice baked, stuffed, baked potato, ready for the oven, and topped with the um, potato and cabbage with a little bit of Irish cheddar cheese and a little bacon. Yay! And I'll bake these um, in the oven about 30 minutes just, cause, just till they're warm through and a little brown on top. Um, if they don't get brown enough for you, uh, you can just always put them under the boiler for a minute. But I just thought those looked fun and different and your kids will love those. And make a little salad and you're good to go. So yummy, a new idea for St. Patrick's Day meal or any night meal. Okay, so that is our twice baked potato. Now I'm going to make our special cocktail. So wash off my hands real quick. 
and you know, what does St. Patrick's do without a green cocktail? So I thought, well, what kind of cocktail should we make? So you know what I picked, because you know, my kitchen, my choice, right? We are making a jalapeno margarita, which those of you guys watch all the time know is my favorite. So we are gonna add a little twist here. So I've got my shaker, and there is some ice in my shaker. So we're gonna get started here with our margarita. Hello, Julia, how are you? How is Hilton Head? We are gonna be making a classic jalapeno margarita here, but I'm gonna start, I'm gonna prep my glass. So I made, for my special St. Patrick's Day jalapeno margarita, some green salt. Yum, green salt to go with this. So I'm gonna take my lime. I just took some margarita salt and I put a few drops of green food coloring in there and we have green salt. So put a little lime around the rim and then I'm gonna put my green salt around the rim. Oh my gosh, look at how cool. That awesome, <laughs> totally awesome. Oh, I'm easily entertained. So there's that. So to our margarita here, I've got my, of course, my fancy shot glass. One eighth of a cup is an ounce. So you can use your shot glass or you can use your one eighth measuring cup. <laughs> so to this, I'm gonna put two shots of tequila and I'm gonna put one shot, because what is a margarita without Cointreau? My absolute favorite, this is orange liqueur, but it's my favorite. So I'm gonna put a shot of that in there. And then I have my jalapenos, several, sliced, like half a jalapeno sliced with the seeds. If you don't want it too spicy, you can leave out the seeds, but I'm okay with that, especially when you're serving it with ice, right? And then to give it a little extra St. Patrick's Day flair, I've got green food coloring. <laughs> I got out to dye the, I got out to dye the drink, but then I thought, oh, let's dye the salt too. So to this, I'm gonna add a few drops of our green food coloring. And then we're gonna give this, I've got fresh lime juice that I, of course, squeezed myself. So lime juice going in. And this is gonna be a heck of a cocktail. Yes, it is. So here we go. Oh my goodness, this looks yummy. How are all my people been? I'm always wel welcome to your ideas. Do you have any special Easter ideas you want me to, to do? Because today is the one year anniversary of our first co cooking show, it came up on my feed. What else came up on my memories was um, a video Gary and I did for Happy uh, St. Patrick's Day 10 years ago. Oh my gosh, down by the pier in Ventura. Can't believe it, but 10 years ago, went like that. So one year went like that, that. <laughs> but now, the 100 episodes that we did during COVID, um, they're going to start coming up. I can repost them. Because <laughs> we did them all the way from March to, I think we finished one, I think December 12th was our 100th uh, episode. So we did Valentine's Day, we're doing today St. Patrick's Day, and I'm sure we can drum up an Easter ideas for e uh, Easter. Oh my gosh. Making sure this is nice and cold and nice and green. <laughs> so it's feeling very cold. So let me get the lid off this. And oh my gosh, this is going to be so good. My little could come off. Lid always gives me a hard time. Hey Bruce, how are you? Thanks for watching. I wish you were here to have my jalapeno margarita with me. So I'm going to, you know, I think I'll strain this first so you guys can see the color. Oh my gosh, how awesome is that? easily entertained. I want to get some jalapeno in my cocktail. And then of course what I love to use as a floater is this lemon elderberry soda from Trader Joe's. It's the bomb. It's my secret. Shh, don't tell anyone. And you put a little floater of this on top. And that is the ultimate jalapeno margarita St. Patrick's Day edition. Check out that color. The color of money, baby! The color of leprechauns. Oh wait, I can see that my, my pot of gold here is turned. There you go. So we are just here at the end of the pot of gold, um, having a great time and um, loving our buyers and sellers. We've had a really bu uh, busy first kickoff of the year. So if you know anyone thinking about buying or selling real estate, especially selling, uh, visit us at GaryAndLisa.com. 
it has been a crazy year. It is definitely uh, a seller's market, and we have been busy, busy, busy real estating. So you know what we do. You know where to find us, and we always love all your DMs and your comments that you send us. We love to see you guys here. So thank you for watching. Happy St. Patrick's Day, and we will see you soon. Cheers. Do you have an umbrella for that drink? I probably do have an umbrella for that drink. Thank <laughs> you.